Sister, my question is found in the book of Matthew, chapter number 13, verse 10 and 11, and in Matthew, chapter 15, verses 11, 15, and 16. May I read, Sister? If you yes, allow brother. Me? Matthew 13, the first reading. Matthew 13, verses 10 and 11. Yes. And the disciples came and said to him, Why do you speak to them in parables? He answered and said to them, Because it has been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been given. Matthew 15, verses 11, 15, and 16. When he had called the multitude to himself, he said to them, Hear and understand. Not what goes into the mouth defiles a man, but what comes out of the mouth, this defiles a man. Then Peter answered and said to him, Explain this parable to us. So Jesus said, Are you also still without understanding? Sister, I would like if you could explain to us, with your wisdom, why Peter, after Jesus said to him and the rest of his disciples, that God had given to them to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, Peter asked Jesus to explain to him one of the parables. Sister, this would mean that Jesus did not reveal the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven to all his disciples. I thank you for your answer and may God bless you greatly, sister. Thank you, brother. Well, it is difficult to understand every explanation. For example, today we've had a Bible study. There have been many questions, many answers. I think that we haven't remembered everything because we retain some things and we forget some things. I think the essence remains in the heart, but every answer does not. You forget it and it's normal. This is natural. That's what happened to the apostles. The Lord would teach them. He would give them explanations and they would understand some things and then they would forget. And so they would need to once again ask for an explanation. Now we ought to observe that the Holy Spirit in the church, when the Holy Spirit speaks to us, we receive prophecy. Have you noticed that the Holy Spirit always reminds us of the same thing? You have noticed that he almost says the same things to us. In prophecy, he always tells us the same. For example, even to this day, the Holy Spirit tells me to read the Bible. And I say, yes, we need to read the Bible because we forget a lot of things. And in prophecy, the Lord always tells us the same thing. He says, trust in me, believe, do not fear, have no doubts. Remember, I live. Remember, I exist. I am able to work miracles. Wait in me. This is what the Lord tells us and we forget it. And then God needs to remind us once again. So the apostles in that time, the Lord would teach them so many mysteries he would teach them so much doctrine and would give them explanations. But there was so much doctrine that it was impossible to store it all in our own understanding. And it was forgotten. So this is why the apostles would ask him once again. They would say, Lord, but please tell me, share with me what happened. What's going on? Lord, why? Peter wanted to defend our Lord Jesus Christ in a moment in which they came to persecute him, the Roman soldiers did. And Peter, he cut the ear off of one of them in order to defend the Lord. And the Lord told him not to do that, that it was not necessary. And the Lord tells him, Peter, you are going to deny me three times. And Peter may have said, no, Lord, I won't deny you. That's not going to happen. He did not want to accept or believe that. And when it happened, when they asked Peter about the Lord, he forgot. He had already forgotten that the Lord had told him he would deny him three times. He forgot to such a point that he denied him. 
And then someone else asked him a question, and for the second time, he denies him. Then on the third question that he was asked, he forgets, and he denies the Lord. And in the moment he denied it, he remembered that the Lord had already told him he would deny him three times. This is so that we realize that we cannot retain so much or store so many things here. And this is why we need to repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. This is why we need to read the Bible one, two, three, many, many times. We need to watch the Bible studies and even repeat them many times. And every time you repeat the Bible study to watch it, you're going to find something new, something different. You're going to learn something different. This is why the Holy Spirit always tells us the same things. He repeats things because he knows that in our own human capacity, we are not able to store all of the knowledge, doctrine, and everything that is learned, everything that is taught. So that's how we are. And that's why we need to constantly be doing the same things all the time. Because this is the only way that we are able to nourish ourselves. This is our nourishment, the nourishment to our soul and spirit. To constantly be praying and praising the Lord, glorifying God, praying to Him and asking Him, speaking to the Lord, telling Him so many things, listening to the doctrine, the teachings, the Bible studies. It is a constant to the day that we die, to that day. And so let us not grow weary, nor should we criticize people for forgetting because the same thing happens to us. Very well, we give the Lord thanks. 